Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm gonna show you guys how to build a 72 volt Ceron battery. If you guys already know, it's your boy Mikey Will here. If you guys don't know who that is, that's Jimmy FPV, owner of Jimmy's cell phone repair shop, aka the guy that taught me most stuff I know to the day. He out here helped me 3D design a fire uh, battery box <laughs> for the Ceron, you feel me? I suck at 3D design, I'm not gonna lie, and not in Kira, and uh, Fusion, you know what I'm saying? But Jimmy, wizard at this stuff. He did this in 15 minutes. One of the best tech wizards in the central New Jersey area. If you guys are around, make sure you guys show him some, show him some love. You feel me? But look at that. We are we're already out here with a smooth 3D rendered kind of image. So like, I can get this printed from uh, either quality sheet metal or someone else that has a humongous enough printer. You know what I'm saying? And he just did all this stuff right on site. I brought the Ceron battery in. And sure enough, measured it right then and there. But I'm gonna show you guys what I needed or what I used to build this battery. Uh, some nickel strips, some foam padding, um, some captain tape, you know what I'm saying? Some different size captain tape. You never know what you don't need in the situation. Let's see what's the next thing. Uh, obviously some solder for uh, wiring up the BMS and stuff. The BMS harness wires, the BMS. <laughs> this is a 400 amp, amp BMS. Bluetooth enabled, so it's pre G. I'll make another video if you guys want to see another Bluetooth tutorial. Uh, also, gonna need those 21700 cell holders. And if you guys don't know, I'm using Samsung 21700 cells, 4000 milliamp hours. These things are dank. I've used them in a couple other builds, and I, I don't think I'm gonna use any other batteries. These things are disgustingly good. Disgusting in a good way, if you guys don't know what that means either. But all right, so now we're getting into like the build part. So you just want to make sure you got all, check all your batteries, check all your cells and stuff, make sure everything's lined up, lined up. So now it's time to line up the nickel strip to see how long it's supposed to be. So at this point, going to start snipping, you know what I'm saying? Because you got to make sure they're the same length to go, go across all 20 sets of cells. There's 20, this is a 20 S battery build. Not 21, not 18. So this is gonna take 40 individual strips because I'm doing five, four, uh, four, five by six packs, which equals 30 cells. It's gonna be 120 cells in total. So I had to make sure I cut enough strips just so I can get to spot weld and making sure everything's all good. And honestly, the battery building is not that hard. When you guys think about it, there is a lot of parts that you do need. There's a lot of parts that can be messed up. And it's and you guys all know the the other route, fire and stuff like that. But we don't want that. We ain't gonna talk about that way. We're just gonna show you how to build this thing the right way so you don't blow up. So you got some chill times, you can ride with your homies, and hopefully you guys won't get in trouble by the police or your neighbors, because I know I don't. They don't ever say anything for me. Most of the time I be doing mid really 12 o'clock. They be waving at me. <laughs> but that's why I need some more power. I got the motor here. I need uh, my speed controller is on the way. I'm going to show you guys what's what's really good with Electro and Company. As you guys can see, I'm using a lot of welds. It is it it's un, it's unreal how many welds you kind of need. I'm kind of going fast in the, for the video purposes. And I know you guys see that little uh thing I'm hitting with my left hand. That's actually a foot uh pedal, but I use it for my hand cuz it's a little bit easier and faster and i don't have to like think as hard with like when i'm with my foot and stuff like that but i understand why it's for a foot so you can uh use both hands and stuff like that but most of the time the packs are so heavy you don't have no problems with that kind of stuff but so you're going to go down each row individually you can do them all you can either flip it over side to side do whatever you want just make sure you do all make sure you do both sides of nickel strip do not miss the sides make sure you do the positives and the ne negatives so for the first set it's gonna be uh five on top five on the bottom so obviously you guys what you guys are seeing is a little slow right now but this is like after i flipped and like now i'm doing the next side you know what i'm saying none, none of it it's all it's all time that's what you guys gotta realize it's all time to build this battery and like the more confident you get in building batteries, you will be able to, like technically I could have built this in maybe like 
mm, like two and a half, three, three hours. I think it was like four hours because I was messing around recording it for you guys stuff, so you guys can see. And I thought it was fair for you guys. I see no Sarah on battery build out there. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to be nice enough, not nice enough, but I just wanted to like show you guys how I did it. So maybe you guys could do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if you guys have noticed some my, my spot welder either is on like 25, 28, or like 45 when I get into the higher uh, welds and stuff like that. When I gotta like start doing the parallel connections, but that's for a little bit later. But right now, this is probably like the second second pack that I'm doing. And like I remember, I have to do both sides, so I'm only at like like 30 to 40 percent right here. And then obviously, I'm just speeding. I'm breathing through it because of the video and stuff like yada yada. yada. Make sure you guys. Put some good, strong welds on this, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't be afraid to hit it three or four times if you don't feel comfortable. Like, make sure those welds stick. You do not want one of those tacks to fall off. I repeat, you do not want one of those tacks to fall off, but that's what the f uh, final product looks like, you know what I'm saying? I actually noticed that one of the cells was upside down. Make sure you check your rows, folks. Like, even someone that does this all the time, Hey, man, I make mistakes too. And it was just one cell. And that one cell was enough to just mess up my whole pack. I'm happy I caught that. I'm like, it's all it's all good. But yeah, it's just it's just like a long, tedious product <laughs> product again. Now I think I'm on the third pack, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just, you just gotta just keep going. Uh normally when you have this like not a non serum battery, because serum battery is kind of hard to build because they're skinny and stuff like that. But when, let's say you have like a normal battery that you can make into a square or a trapezoid or whatever they, they be doing these days, triangle, whatever, whatever. Yeah, triangle is probably the hardest one, to be honest. You can just, most of you can just put one, fold it in half. But now I'm actually cutting up the parallel strips. They're about, I don't know how far they are. I don't know, like a couple inches, two inches so. You know what I'm saying? So you got make because when you're doing the parallel connection, it's a whole different ball game. So you're gonna go down. You're gonna skip the first, uh, the first main positive section. Do not touch that main positive. Leave that open. Do not do anything with that. So you're gonna go to the first, like the first. Uh, so instead of going to the positive, go to the reverse side. Go straight to that negative side, not the main negative, the negative of the first positive. And then from there, you're gonna start tacking on uh your your baby nickel strips in the middle your parallel connections and then you're just gonna keep flipping until you just and you'll start to see the pattern and uh when i show you like what it looks like uh as like a whole view you'll see what i mean like you'll, you'll see a ginormous pattern I, I like to call it like a like a like a i don't even know like a i don't know <laughs> but uh yeah yeah so this part gets kind of wonky because this is the part where you could see sparks if you're not paying attention i actually use uh anti-spark uh tweezers so they don't like make a spark or short anything out while i'm uh working with the nickel strips but to be honest i prefer working my hands a little more because i can be a little more precise those tweezers kind of screw me over a couple of times dropping them and stuff and the next next thing you know they're like welded to the thing but this is what i'm talking about right here like you can see how it looks like a a space pretzel <laughs> a metallic pretzel but yeah so you just so now at, at this point you have to connect the packs and you have to and you have to show oh well, i'm showing you guys where to connect it you want to connect the the negative to the positive of the next pack so it's all, so you're just like so you're just putting like a, a small a, a slightly larger piece of nickel strip so it can bend and fold and you have enough space to like mold it on top and stuff like that but not too long where it's jutting out the side but right now we're probably nearing around mm, 65 percent done with this battery maybe 70 percent done because uh, we're probably on, I think we're on the last pack of connections, uh, parallel connections. And then from here, we're going to uh, test, do some testing so you guys can see what that looks like as well. But from here, we're doing a bunch of parallel connections. Obviously, it's not that many. I think it, I forgot how many it was on the top of my head. I don't feel like doing the simple math in my head either. So <laughs> I always like to leave that guys up, leave that for you guys, especially if you do an 18650 build or a 21700 build. 
it's all the same, just more space and stuff like that. You might be able to fit more cells or less cells if you have 21,700 cells though. But yeah. Definitely came a long way from just flying drones and stuff like that. Now we out here building straight up huge packs. Like, look at that. That's what it's supposed to look like. Mad fresh, you know what I'm saying? But now that's what it looks like all connected. I didn't want to like, I couldn't actually get the camera in the right place to like show you guys. So I just want to do the whole thing. Now here we're doing the test. You're gonna, you guys are gonna need a multimeter for this test. Uh, I mean, I guess the more expensive, the better, but you want a, you want a nice, good, accurate reading. And my bad, my hand was in the way, so you guys can see. But you see, as you guys can see, it reads 68.8.7 volts. And that's typical, because the storage voltage is 3.4 on these. And, oh, here we go for the BMS. You gotta put the negative on first. Make sure you do some pull tests, make sure things on there. And then you're gonna put, from that side, put the other side, of the, the first string of the white wires right to the uh, uh, first positive. And then you just go from each positive from there. And then you guys are good. But we're not good, because you have to like actually put on the BMS now. So at this part, you guys gotta cut off the thing, the lug. Actually, for some people, if you have some type of lug, definitely connect it, it's way easier. But for me, I don't have this, and for a lot of lithium ion uh, battery builders, most time we gotta straight solder the wires to right directly to the main negative. Sometimes that ain't easy, you know what I'm saying? You got six wires, and it's gotta like fit perfectly. Oh yeah, my bad guys, I'll just be in the way. I'm trying to like, put the BMS on and get it like correct way so you guys can see it correctly working and stuff like that. Oh, excuse me, I had burped. But there we go, there it is guys. Full battery, fully completed. Just gotta do some more tests on it. And which I got, obviously we'll upload some more videos for you guys. And uh, for you guys to upload up, for you guys to, uh, what's it called? Turn on your BMS for your battery. It's a little bit complicated, you have to use the app. And directly when you're in the app, it's gonna say, is it a LiPo or a Lion? And I think if they like go to like one of the tabs, it's gonna say that. And then, you're good, yo. Thank you, for, thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment. More content coming soon. Like I said before, more videos on the Suron stuff coming soon.